This is day 22, and in today's video, we will be showing you what's the best mount for Ivor, and also our progress in the game as an F2P player. But before we jump in, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Viking Rise tips. So this is day 22 and we have finally transfer our main account and farm account to zone 2. Here is my farm account and I was able to transfer it from zone 1 to our tribe territory here in zone 2 and then transfer again here near to my main account through the use of fixed relocator. I really want to transfer here at zone 2 because you can see all the resource points have much more value or capacity compared to Zone 1. You can see all those levels and capacity. They are higher than the usual resource points. I really want my farm account base near to May Main so I can monitor my farmer if they are done farming resources just so I can log in and set them to another resource point. So, it's up to you if you want your farm account be near to your main. Plus, you can just harvest it easily if it's near to your main account. But anyway, let us go to our city. I am currently not having any construction for now because we are saving resources for now and we want to finish first our research on the academy. You can see here that I am now at T4 Troops researching, and T4 Troops requires 16 days' time to finish the research. That's a lot of speed-ups to consume, but I think it's okay, because we are still needing some resources, and we are currently gathering on the map. Look at this time. It's 16 days and 18 hours' time for us to be able to research T4 Troops. But anyway, my plan here is to research all the T4 Troops and then maximize these three important stages. These three military technology are one of the most important stages you need to maximize. So I suggest to you that you need to go back to that after you research all T4 troops. Now, one of the viewers asks about the what is the best beast mount for Ivor. I was lucky to trap this beast mount, and I think this will be a good fit for Ivor, since he is a polymath, and I am using him as a tank for all kinds of troops. So the best beast mount for Ivor for me are those who have attributes with troop health, troop defense, troop attack. One of those three must be their attributes, just like this one. I was lucky to have this beast mount because by default it has an attribute of troop health increase. That means all we need to do is to hone that attribute so we can raise its effectiveness and also, once we level up this beast up until 15 to 20, we can then be able to add three parts. And these three parts, you will have an option again to select what will be the attribute you want to add. So I, I would suggest to you to add those three attributes again the troop health, troop attack, and troop defense. Let's check the Mount of Arta. So, here is the part that I was talking about. These two attributes are the two attributes of the beast by default. And I was not lucky to have any best part for Archer to install in this beast. So I just pick any parts just so I can use these two slots. By any way, this part has an attribute of infantry defense. And this second part has an attribute of troop attacks. So this one must be installed on Ivor's beast mount because it has a troop attributes. So what I am trying to say is once you unlock these slots for parts, 
you need to choose parts that has a tribute of troop defense, troop attack, and troop health, so you can then be able to have the best beast mount for Ivor. Once you're all set, you can just use the honing fruit to level up their effectiveness, their percentages. I will update you about this beast once I collect all the needed parts for Ivor Beast Mount. Share your thoughts using the comment box below, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more Viking Rise tips.